Today's episode of the String Report covers the new TaylorMade Stealth 2 drivers. It's one that everybody's looking forward to. Uh, three models and Kevin Kraft here to hit the shots into the track, man. We'll get all the information and we'll tell you everything you need to know, golfers. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Make sure you give this video a like and then tell us in the comments what you think of the new Stealth 2 drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft today, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing from Columbia, yes. here in the Twin Cities. Freezing. It is currently, what is it, minus 15 outside? It's pretty close. Um, wind chill's worse. Yeah, the wind chill's down to like minus 30 or 40, depending Very on where you're at. Very glad to be inside a nice, We're cozy, inside. warm tour van. Yes, the, the tour van's nice and cozy today. <laughs> and we have three new TaylorMade drivers. Indeed. Stealth 2, the standard, the HD, and the Plus. Yep. Um, Always exciting when TaylorMade's got the new drivers. Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of people, they think drivers, I think TaylorMade is a, the first brand that comes to mind for a lot of people. Yep. And they changed it up a little bit last year in the stealth uh, with the carbon face. Yep. That's back, That that's not changing. Uh, but there is a few things that have changed to optimize things for golfers. Sure. So, you know, they, they said the it was the, was it the era of yeah, carbon? The right? carbon wood so era. That, yes. Yeah, so they they couldn't really go away from that. Yeah. Not, yeah, not no, after, not not, after yeah. one season. So it's back. It's a little bit lighter. Two grams lighter. Yep. Um, look, two grams of discretionary weight to an engineer might send them doing cartwheels down the hallway. Yeah. So uh, you know, if they can reposition these things, make them more stable, more forgiving. Awesome. Yeah. So. You know, I, I've got the I've got last year's Stealth here, yep. along with the the Stealth Two. Um, to me, to my eye, uh, the Stealth Two looks a little more uh, a little more streamlined. Yeah, I believe the the uh, product information that we read called it slippery. Yeah. So I'm interested to see what slippery gives us right, here. Right. 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 Um, look, one of the ways that we can help you hit the ball farther, or that a club manufacturer can help you move hit the ball farther mm -hmm. is by making the club itself move faster, right? Yep. Um, if we aren't going to make changes to ourselves, but we can, we can get faster out of a, out of a golf club, yep. then, Hey, guess what? We can, we can get some right. better performance. So, uh, this looks to me, um, it actually looks really, really good. Uh, I love the new kind of metallic red yeah. trim on the back. Mm -hmm. That was the first thing I noticed when I flipped this thing over. Yep. That looks really, really, yep. real classy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got uh, a little bit of a, a change to the, the weighting here in the back. Yes, we do. Uh, it's, it's silver, it's a little bit bigger. Yep. Uh, this is the, the standard Stealth too. So we've got a 25 gram weight back here, yep. making this thing very, very stable. Uh, very high MOI, and you flip it over, and you're gonna see you're gonna see your reflection yeah. because this is a new glossy crown. Yeah, um, they have been with the matte finish for a while now. Yes, um, I'm trying to think back to the last one that wasn't. I mean, was it before the white drivers? It might have been. I mean, the SLDR wasn't. Okay, so yeah, I that, that might be. But that that, might it's, kind of it's be that era though. Yeah, I mean, the the yeah. M series into yep. the Sim series into the stealth was all kind of a matte type finish yeah. or not, you know, the shiny finish. Yeah. So we should also mention the carbon reinforced ring here. Uh, if you think back to the Sim 2 series, mm -hmm. that ring was a little bit of the back as well. It was kind of that like teal blue color. Yes. So they're kind of bringing some of that back and it kind of stabilizes the whole head. Mm -hmm. There's some forgiveness there. So yep. an MOI that yep. um, it, it wasn't quite evident on the original stealth series, bringing it back here. I think that'll be a nice addition as well to that forgiveness and performance. Of these yeah, anytime you can make a golf club more stable, people will definitely benefit. Yeah, absolutely. So, and on the loft piece, the mm -hmm. Stealth 2 standard and the Stealth 2 HD, both at nine, 10 and a half and 12 degrees. Correct. So that's kind of the popular cadence out there for yes. kind of the higher MOI drivers. Yes, it is. And then for the, the Stealth 2 Plus, we've got eight, nine and 10 and a half. Okay. So. so Definitely lower loft for maybe players that have a little bit more speed for sure. Correct. So um, a lot to look forward to. Again, mm -hmm. tailor-made drivers always bring the hype and the suspense and the mm -hmm. anticipation. So now we get to watch you hit some bombs. All right. I'm excited for that. Slippery. <laughs> All right, so okay. Kevin, the standard Stealth 2 model. Yes. Um, tell me what you see when you look down at that one. And I think, so you you do see some red on the back end of that crown, right? Yeah, there you're, yeah. it's it's a little more there's a little more color to the yeah. to the back end of this. Um, I don't think 
anybody's going to, or too many people are going to be put off by it. Yeah. Um, I like it. It just kind of yeah. just frames the head a little yeah. bit. Because I think they've, they've done that before with a lot of their drivers in the past. They've had kind of a color accent on yeah. there with the, yeah. the Sim series. You know, mm -hmm. you go back to the M family. I mean, there's, there's always kind of that extra color element. But they didn't really have it on the previous stealth. It was just no, straight kind not. of yeah. black yeah. all over. I actually really, I really like this. It looks good. Um, my probably my one petty little complaint is that I've already got fingerprints on yeah. this head, right? And like yeah. on that glossy finish. So yeah. I don't know. That's first world right. problems, I guess. Yeah, but, I mean, on the, um, the old stealth, I can do all this I want. And yeah, you're not going to see no it, issues. You know? Sure. So um, club looks great. Uh, it's tailor made shape. Mm -hmm. It's what I come to expect from right. from tailor made. Um, you know, behind the scenes, we've we've got kind of what we'd expect here too. Got a lot of weight back here keep this club head nice and stable. Yep. Um, two degrees of loft adjustment. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, one thing yeah. I did notice too is that weight, there's, there's, there's a weight, so I have the HD here. Mm -hmm. There's a weight here down in, in the heel. Yes. That one on the standard is also towards the heel. It is towards the too. heel, it's yeah. not quite as not deep near, as the No, HD. not as far yeah. down here, yeah. but it's, it's positioned more in the heel than, I guess, the toe, you know, it is. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, weight in the heel is going to help you get that yeah. club face squared up. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, with the, if we got somebody that needs to really combat the left side, we're probably going to that right. stealth plus self two plus cause we have the, the adjustable weights there. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's see what I got here today in terms of speed and all that good stuff. Felt good, sounded good. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I was really impressed last year with the feel of the carbon face. Yeah. Um, I did not really know what to expect. We yeah. experienced carbon before with like a, a Callaway C4, which had yeah. absolutely zero responsiveness. Yeah. yeah. Just, it was, it was dead yeah. feeling coming off the club. This is not dead. This is very lively. Yep. It's got a really good auditory response. Sounds really good. Yeah. Um, I mean, you had right. to know what Taylor made if they were going to change it like that and go this direction. Yeah, it, they weren't yeah. going to. It couldn't be. They weren't going to take a chance on it. Yeah, it couldn't be your father's carbon head. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Ooh. I like seeing that eight there in the uh, carry number. That's fun. Yep. Two eight That's zero. Fun. Nice. That'll work. Yeah, that will work. Yeah, that one's trying to come yeah, back. It is. All right, we got that eight number again. There it is, 280. This feels really good. Do you have any, you know, kind of memory of the original stealth versus that feel wise, sound wise? Is it pretty similar? I mean, there, there's so, minor adjustments made in terms of that department. So. I didn't spend as much time with the original stealth head as yeah. I did the, the plus. Okay. Um, this feels to me better and a little faster okay. than what I what I experienced with the with the standard stealth. Yeah. I do test everything that comes in. Yeah. Doesn't mean I necessarily spend a huge amount of time with it if yeah. I'm not like falling all over it. So right. um, this is good. I mean spin rates are are certainly in a in a reasonable realm. Oh yeah. Um, ball speed's good. Uh, You're swinging it well today? Swinging it okay today. Would still like to see a little more consistency up the middle, but uh, it's middle of winter, golf is hard, yeah, I know. And, you yeah. know, right. that kind of stuff. Could not be more in the middle of winter right now. There we go. It might be Come the highest now. speed of the day. There we go. That's all right. It's pretty good. Again, we're seeing really good consistency on the spin rate. Yeah. So for me as a, as a golfer, uh, Kylie Red, 60 stiff, and this particular head, uh, very consistent. Works yeah. quite well. Right. 4.7 on the smash factor, certainly not terrible. Um, club head speeds up a little bit from what it was yesterday. So yeah. you know I mean? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, I like seeing the, I like seeing a number with a three in front of it uh, on the total. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty fun. good. 300 I'm yard an, bombs. I'm an old fat guy. You know, what, what are you going to do? Really good stuff. I mean, it's, I think the consistency is the thing on the spin. That to me, yeah. that, that to me I, is I, what is, is catching my eye yeah. is you're hitting two with the exact same one with 50 and you know, fewer, but it's, you're hitting five shots and the same thing more or less is happening yeah, and on that it, spin rate. We want as much consistency as possible. Yeah. You know, obviously, um, 
I have a, we'll call it a quasi repetitive golf swing. Um, you know, somebody that comes in and they're not as accomplished and, and they're hitting different parts of the golf club. You know, uh, we, we're going to see some variance, but we want to see that as much consistency as we yeah. possibly can. Because uh, we want to mm -hmm. get as many repetitive shots right. as we can. But, yeah. You uh, think, I mean, the thing here too is generally when the shot goes right, it's a little bit shorter, spin is up in the most cases. Correct. To see that kind of a straight line yeah. or a straight across oval there, I think, yeah. is a positive thing as well. So that is something I have noticed in, in my, own, my own game. I tend not to usually get a huge jump in yeah. spin when I leave it in the face, mainly because I'm, the toe. I'm tending to get more a little bit more to the toe. Yeah. So um, those toe shots tend to bring that, that's, that uh, yeah, down. That's something so. for the golfers out there to know, is if, if you're going to miss on the face in any quadrant. Oh, yes. Of them, yes. the high toe is the spot to this, miss. This is your friend, right? This yes. is traditionally through time. This has been the hot spot on drivers. Yeah, it really hasn't changed much. It may have gotten a little bit more toward the the dead center on the yeah. golf club, but this is where we're going to get the least amount of spin. We're still going to get a really good ball yeah. speed. You know, we're not we're not out here engaging twist face. Yeah, and folks. Twist face is, is it's a re, it's the real deal. Yeah. It does what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Technically, it wasn't new technology, but it's now named technology. And yes. Taylor made our uh, masters yes. of marketing. So yeah. uh, they took something that that needed a name, yeah. named it, and it does what it's supposed to do. Yes. So you catch it here instead of seeing a big turner this way. Yeah. It's going to it's going to modify that to, right. to bring it more to right. the center. So. Um, you know, technologies in these golf clubs is fantastic. This one is no exception. Yep. Yep. All right. So we have two more. Which one do you want to do? Yeah. You want to do the draw, the HD? Let's, or do yeah, let's the do the HD and okay. then we'll do the, then we'll do the plus. That's the Maybe money. should I be playing? I maybe should be playing a draw based driver. I mean, that's look, at that, look at that number. I mean, I think that's You're my three longest. feet from the exact dead center. Oh. See if that one turns around here. It's trying. It's trying, trying to. Yeah, it's that's, trying to. that's right center of the fairway. I'll, I can deal with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, there's okay. a spin going back up. A little there. more spinny. Yep. Got the club head speed up there, though. Yep, you yep. did. Said I was going to go after that one. Yeah, pretty similar. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I like the, I like the the correction, mm -hmm. right? Again, this club did exactly what it was supposed to do. Yep. It didn't get it hooking, but no. it certainly made it easier to square up. Yep. And for a lot of golfers, that's exactly what they're what, yep. exactly what they need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think. I mean, you see the 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 tendency showed up to go left. It did. And yeah. I think that's the biggest thing here. It's not gonna. And there's not like crazy offset on it either. That's no, on there. No, like no, it's, goodness, it, no. It, huh. it doesn't look like a draw bias driver, which I think is is a really big element of. Looks of, like a clean square golf club mm -hmm. that you can you can look at, be really happy with, and know that yeah, this has got just a little extra help behind yeah, it. Right. Fantastic. Exactly. So okay, Stealth Two Plus. All right. Let's see what this does. All right. So the Stealth Two Plus mm -hmm. does that? Can you see it? more co compact is it the yeah, big difference there's, little there's difference? definitely a little little difference okay. i mean it's not it doesn't hit you over the head yeah but it's subtle um still the same shape doesn't have the red ring around the around the edge oh it doesn't on the it crown. does not okay. yeah crowns crowns oh, very okay. clear interesting um you know we got the we got the stealth kind of blacked out there on the got ya. on the side but um just looks good. It just simply looks good. It's a it's a nice yeah. looking driver. Obviously, again, we flip it over and we see that we've got a weight track where we can we can move weight to the toe, weight mm -hmm. to the heel. Um, we've got a nice 15 gram weight back here to match uh, the weight up in the front. Uh, should be a very stable driver mm -hmm. and lots of tunability. Right. So that's yeah. You know the 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 fitter's dream. Oh for yeah. Sure. So I'm gonna expect maybe a little more right side bias here. Okay. Maybe a little lower, maybe a little lower spin. Okay. If this club does what it's yeah. supposed to do, or if I do what I'm supposed to do, <laughs> I can have to. I do have to claim some, some of the onus on this whole thing. So. 
All right, well. Okay. Lower, less spin, yes. little to the right. Well, one for one in terms of your predictions there. It's almost like I've done this before. Yeah. yeah. See, that one definitely launched lower. That's the one a little better, right? That was better, right? Yeah. Height came up a little bit. Spin rate staying pretty stable. Yeah. I like the 20. I like something in the twos. The yeah. low twos is really good. So that's, nah, that one's good. That one's 311. For an old guy? Yeah, like old is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> yeah. Old is in the sounds that we make when we wake up in the morning and try to get out of bed. Yeah, I yes. suppose that's true. <laughs> Well, you don't hit it like an old guy, that's for sure. 312 yards. 287 carry. You ain't getting this back. <laughs> oh, there was. Boom. There we go. Oh, look at that. There we go. 313, yeah. 287.8 carry, 112. In the, the fairway. Country. And it's right <laughs> It's down the middle. And... And if I, okay, I haven't looked at the dispersion yet, yeah. but those shots were all on a very similar yeah. plane in terms of where yeah. they, I mean, yeah. 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 You can count on it, right? You can, as a player, you can count on it. And that's exactly what we want. Yeah. 287.8. Wow. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's, uh, that's exciting right there. It's consistent and it's explosive. And I mean, you were... That, that's, it's got to be super like encouraging for you as well to be able to step up and really go after one. Yes, like you did. And yes, it's, it was it was comfortably the best tee shot that you hit today. Yeah, with um, the TaylorMade drivers. It's gonna be rare that I'm really gonna try and hit it that hard. Yeah, uh, because it does bring in the the potential for right. You know, yeah. left and oh, right. I'm very familiar. I'm uh, very familiar. <laughs> yes. As someone who's got well more club head speed than I do, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, but stability in this head was really, really good. Yeah. Um, ball speed's fantastic. The feel off the face is fantastic. The look is really good. Um, I definitely think from what I just experienced here, yeah. we are a step ahead of where we were last year okay. with stealth. Yeah. which I wasn't sure exactly how that was going to go. Yeah. Right. Um, you ho always hope that a sequel is going to be yeah. as, as good as the original. Yeah. Um, I think they may have, they may have really they may have done well there. there. Yeah. Yeah. I think, so. yeah, I think yeah. that's promising stuff for sure. Yes. And then, I mean, I'm just going to, I wanted to note to you predicted lower spin. Yep. And you predicted kind of the lower launch and everything, yep. um, which all came to fruition. You know, the spin dropped by about two fifty, well, two fifty three hundred ish. Mm -hmm. Um, Landing angle, a little shallower. Yep. Um, also, height was lower, you know, yeah. and the launch was lower. So, yeah. everything that the club is Did doing what it's, what it's supposed, supposed to, to do. do. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. our that's our favorite thing when, yes, that, when right. that happens. <laughs>
model by model here. I've got HD, so mm -hmm. start there. The HD model, um, what type of golfer would you most likely fit into this one? So the mm -hmm. HD model, you know, HD stands for high draw, mm -hmm. right? So somebody that needs just a little extra help trying to get that yep. club face squared up, has a tendency to maybe have it peel off to the right. We're gonna go into that HD head, take mm -hmm. that little bit of correction. I mean, it's not, it's not throwing the kitchen sink at it, right? right? It's, but it's, it's still a nice subtle adjustment yeah. uh, to help them square the club face right. up. Right, now the standard model. So I, I imagine that's gonna be the one the most players will, yep. will end up fitting into in the bay. Absolutely, the, the highest number of players are gonna go into the, into the standard model. Mm -hmm. It is very forgiving. It's got good weighting in the back, yeah. making it a very stable club head, uh, very forgiving high MOI head. Um, you know, it's for somebody that wants to hit it right to left, left to right, have yeah. that workability, right? Right. And then the plus, that was the one that we had, I think the most fun with in, the, in our testing. Here. Only but, the one I had the most but, fun with. <laughs> but uh, you hit some bombs with it. <laughs> yeah. And you got some lower spin with it too. So yes. I imagine players, yeah. maybe high spinner, maybe the better tinkerer type players out there. Sure, as well. somebody that wants maybe uh, combat the left side just a little bit. Yeah. We have the ability to really tune out that left side yeah. with this head. Um, you know, tailor made tends to have their focus more on anti-right. Okay. So the, the plus head's really the one that's gonna allow us to combat the left side. Yeah. Um, it is gonna lower spin, it is gonna lower launch. Uh, we did see just a touch more ball speed, though some of that yep. came up maybe with a little bit of club head speed. Yeah. Um, it is the least forgiving model, uh, but it is, you know, it, it's 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 not a hard cl golf right. club to hit. It's still so. stable yes, in the absolutely. grand scheme of things. 100%. You just, if you're looking for forgiveness, mm -hmm. HD or standard is gonna be the one that's gonna better suit you. <sighs> Correct. For chasing ball speed or workability or control, things like that, lower spin, that's where the plus comes into play, yep. so. Um, nice I mean, fit and finish on all these heads. They all look yeah. really good. Yep. You get the fingerprints might, off might there. Might need some yeah. shades, right? Yeah. When, the, when the sun's out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely bring cloth. Yeah. White yeah. glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So white <laughs> so. yeah. yeah, yeah, but I think Really good feedback here from Kevin on the Stealth 2 drivers. Get fit today. Schedule at secondswing.com. Any one of our store locations will be happy to help you out. Uh, work with you for that hour, hour and a half, whatever it might be. Get you dialed in with a new driver. Stealth 2, uh, standard, HD, or plus. Uh, hit more bombs. Hit bombs like Kevin did today. Uh, farther drives, better scores. Kevin, thanks for joining us today, hitting the shots. Uh, really exciting stuff here. Very exciting stuff. That was a lot of fun.